Hello everybody, welcome to the official live cast for the Group M Round 2 match between Mr. Page and his glorious, hilarious Orange Black Hawks up against Diomed, the, uh, you know, one of the favourites for the tournament with his one werewolf necromantic. I can tell you how these lads qualified. Diomed qualified through the Season 4 playoffs. Um, I believe he was second in that, but then won the Season 5 playoffs as well. So there you go, Diomed, very good, Russian. And uh, Mr. Page is Canadian, and he also qualified via the Season 4 playoffs. So there you go, two, two ladder and playoff coaches here. And, you know, which is... I think you know. I think that's like the harder way to qualify generally than the than the leagues. And I think if somebody's qualified through the playoffs, then they are probably you know guaranteed to be good. And I think that's a good thing. Whereas uh, you know, it, I think it's very good that we've got the inclusivity of the league qualifiers. Of course, just having to win six or seven games is much easier than having to you know perform over an entire season of forty odd games and then win the playoffs as well. So. Um, you know, these are two top players here. Uh, Mr. Page has gone for the block troll and six mighty blow plus a sneaky git. He's just trying to bang everybody out and get lucky, which is which is fair enough. That's a good good way to play. He's trying to field 12 players, which would be a really good way to win games, but uh, he is only allowed 11. Uh, he won the toss, chose to receive, and... Um, Diomed loves Necro, you know, plays loads of Necro, only got the one wolf and also a Wrestle Goo. Oh my god, he's got a, he's got a stab right with this stiletto. <laughs> Incredible. And uh, yeah, 13 players, three reels. I d honestly, I don't really like the, um, the one wolf build, but you know, it does. 13 players is better for overtime, I guess. I guess he's thinking, you know, if he's. If he's gonna win in, in overtime, but I just think the you know the having the two wolves is better. I to me it just seems an easy choice to go two wolves. But I mean, ghouls are good players too, and it's it is what it is, isn't it? I mean, yeah, I like the four guards. Yeah, of course, four guards really good. Um, but I mean, this is gonna be hilarious, isn't it, Mister Page, with his. Team of Mighty Blow. He can get lucky. And if he gets lucky, this could get very unfun <laughs> for Diomed. It's the stun. Not thanks to Mighty Blow, just randomly. Takes the troll hit. I thought the troll would have blitzed, personally. But I guess this way, if it's stupid, you still get a hit. Mighty Blow makes that a KO. Glorious. <laughs> oh, he's blitzing the Wraith? Oh, wow. Okay, well. Do I not like this? No, he's not blitzing. He's blitzing the other Wraith. I thought he was going to blitz the Stab Wraith. Oh, one in nines. Reroll gets the POW. Block would not have knocked over the Wraith at all. But Mighty Blow means that he has to reroll the uh, both down. And it gets him an AV break. Glorious. He can't foul a zombie, I don't think. There's so many good players on the on the Necro team. You have to save fouling for a good player. I really hate inviting the Necro on here, right? But that's what he's done. And doesn't bother rerolling the pickup. The ball is nowhere near as important as killing things. And uh I should have showed you this and set up, but um, I couldn't because it was a little bit um, taken by surprise. We can see Caster beat Mr. Page the first game, Diomed beat Jonesy the first game. So, 
if Diamond and Caster both win, they can both secure their spots. Um, but if one win will not, because you know things can happen. But at the moment, Diamond's on a win, Mr. Page is on a loss, and uh, so basically, if Mr. Page loses, he's almost certainly out, and if Diamond wins, he's almost certainly through. Yes, I, the only blitz I would have made would have been with the troll, right? The troll could have blitzed here, and then you, that gives you a 75% knockdown on the uh, fleshy. That's the only possible blitz, but then he just gets blitzed by a wolf, because he's completely unsupported. So I think hold hold the space in front so they can't get through and uh, get to your goblins. That is what I would have done. Thanks, Dimmy. It's true. Things can happen. <laughs> yeah. Well, um... Mr. Page has got himself a punch out of this. Which he can't be too sad about. A ghoul is coming around. Oh no, he hasn't. He hasn't blitzed yet. Okay. He hasn't got a block out of this. The wolf. Yeah, surely has to go back behind the line. So it's a rush to blitz the ghoul. Which doesn't seem worth it, does it? He might stick a black oak on him. Lots of options here. The troll's quite a good blitzer just because he's got block, right? Even though you lose one in six block blitzers, you're getting more knockdowns because you're 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 knocking down seventy five instead of fifty five. So, like he's it's a, he's a safer blitz at the end of the day. Even though he'll sometimes go stupid. So there's a strong argument for blitzing with the troll if you're going to be blitzing a defenseless player. Like the fleshies. Well, he does go really stupid. It was not a blitz, so. Puke the ghouls? It could puke the ghouls, yeah. Yeah, he actually could. He probably just wants to mash in. The problem is if he mashes in, then obviously Diamond has some guard and he has no guard. So he'll probably get teed off on if he mashes in, but mash in, I expect he will anyway. Did you ask me a Blood Bowl question, Dimmy? What was it? Mighty Blow does nothing. Tragic. Or well, maybe not tragically, the, might, the seven Mighty Blows not killed anything yet. We have randomly based a Flesh Golem though. I do not understand the purpose of this. Wants him to be three dice smashed, I guess. <laughs> Dimmy. I'm not going to answer that question. I don't mention it that much. You're not going to trick me into talking about it. Because I don't. 
Not with Mighty Blow, that's a good point. Oh, he's, he's left the uh, zombies unmolested. That's going to be the first thing Diamond does, is stand up both these zombies. Is super interesting. I'm very surprised that he moved that black orc. I mean, it, it does protect this black orc, right? Getting assists, I mean, unless he uses guard. But um, very strange to let these two guys up. Yeah, that gives him the 3D there. This one is interesting, right? You can go there to tag the goblin, but of course you're getting hit by. Him. So you're making you make if you stand here, you're making the troll punch one of your worst players. So you're keeping the troll out of like the main area, and uh, but at the cost of getting hit by block and mighty blow. If you go there, you're just tagging out the troll and not even trying to tag out the goblin, which you know you could tag out the goblin if you went stupid by going here. So these two squares aren't so good, are they? This one, you tag everything and get three dice. That one's a really bad one. This one, you're likely to get three dice. Kaz. Really surprised he blitzed there. But obviously it was three into three with block. Um, rather than three without block. And this lets him reposition the guard. But um, yes, well, well done. Well done for eliminating the guy who was sacrificed. Um, and then if you go here, you know, you're getting hit by Mighty Blow, so I would have thought one of these two squares was the best, and uh, he did actually go for one of these two. It just took me that long to talk about it, he'd cast somebody while I was doing it. Oh wow, coming around the back with a ghoul. Well, armor 7 and stunty, yeah, but he didn't actually need stunty, in fact, what did he roll? He just rolled double six six five. Would have uh, cast a tree man. With an elf. Dice are the thing, aren't they? At the end of the day. Is he going to put something in the way here? Or just protect the ghoul there. Oof. Wow. Here we go. So normally I don't like, you know, players behind the ball, but if you've got like an elf, or in this case a ghoul, it can be quite good to keep, you know, keep people having to protect the back as well as the front of the cage kind of thing. And especially Mr. Page historically has troubles with elves, so using one of your ghouls like an elf, it seems a pretty good idea. Yeah, this, this golem honestly has exposed himself. This could definitely be a, uh, a costly move by a diamed because he can get grabbed oh he can't get grabbed he's done for oh, god i'm an idiot he can get punched and then blitzed so he can get four dice to get this uh flesh golem down but if he doesn't stand firm he'll get grabbed so he has to stand firm so he'll get punched then he'll get blitzed and then he can get like a five assist foul Pro probably can't get a five assist foul right wait four assist foul can't get a forces foul because you'll have to protect the ball at least a bit. But it does have a fair few players free, so. Should be able to get a foul on him with some amount of players. Puke the ghoul! Oh, <laughs> oh, 
Oh wow, he used the. Wait, no, it, I, it, I heard the brrr. It didn't fail. It was just, it was just a sound effect for the animation. He did puke the ghoul. Wow. Mr. Page confirmed to be listening to Keith. Hello, Hargrim. No, what are you doing? You can't foul if you're assisting blocks. I mean, honestly, assisting the block is fine, but I would probably keep him closer to the ball, you know, and further away from getting punched. Mighty Blow makes it an armor break, which then gets a KO. Dub Skulls in a knot. And then only one shot at getting the fleshy down it knocks him down. But no foul, because he did actually use everybody to protect the ball. Sensible Mr. Page. I mean, <laughs> saying he's not fouling enough is a little bit harsh, because, you know, like, he, there was no point in fouling the zombies, was there? But, um... <laughs> Sensible Mr. Page with all of his mighty blow black <laughs> I mean, he's made two removals. So, you know. Okay, he did get one. He has taken one, but still. He's also got Orc Cheerleaders and All World Alliance for a uh, time now. And now, like, he's in some trouble, isn't he, Diamond, here? I mean, not that much trouble, but some amount of trouble. He's going to claw and something and block something. and But, you know, if he, if he takes all these mighty blow hits every turn, things can happen. I mean, the zombies are the potential ball carriers, just ask Timmy G. <laughs> Banter. Um, he's definitely ahead, yeah. He's definitely ahead at the moment. Two, two, two off versus one, right? It's just a goblin. The goblins aren't very good. He's just gone straight for the... Black Hawk, it's so hard not to say Bigan, honestly. Like, it's weird, like, saying Bigan all the time, because, like, Bla Bigans on the Orc team have been called Black Orcs for 30 years. <laughs> well, 26 years. But then, it's just so hard to, to like, not call these Bigans now, because every time I want to say Black Orc, I try to say Bigan. <laughs> Oh, gets the removal. There we go. The claw gets the remove. He's not going to dodge away from the uh, goblin, is he? Just use the stand firm. Punch into the stand firm so that he doesn't have to dodge away afterwards. Now he can actually swarm this goblin. And this other goblin is what he can base. Really put pressures on. But I mean, he's going and digging in a time bank here, Diomed. Uh, my Mr. Page is already two and a half minutes in from three turns, which is wild. That is wild. One dice, pal. Yeah, there was the apple there on that KO. Completely reasonable apple. You know, trying to win. Trying to win the game. Doesn't want to go down uh, Black Hawk early. Oh, wow. And then... Gets his troll KO'd on a one dice block. That is outrageous. Keat wanted the uh, wanted the ghoul puke, and that's what happened. Hope you're proud of yourself, Keat. Might have lost Mr. Page the game. 
<laughs> yeah, I, that, that's the thing, right? <laughs> after he did it, Keith, after he did it, he didn't know that when he was watching the chat. I'm just joking, by the way. Of course, Mr. Page was not watching this chat to get uh, sick tips. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so now, unfortunately for Mr. Page, he's very much behind being down a troll and nearly down a big one as well. He's just got to jam up here and hope for the best, I think. Just realised he's got an orange ball as well as the... Uh as what the team's orange and the ball's orange, that's a that's like a kind of unfair advantage, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's bread. It's it's a sandwich, isn't it? It's it, that must be the halfling ball. It's like a sandwich. Yes, I think he will. Uh, I think he will definitely punch the ghoul. That makes the most sense, doesn't it? He's quite far away from the wolf, so the wolf isn't easily going to surf things. So. The troll, the troll vomited on the ghoul, did nothing. Then the ghoul one diced him back. Pow, full powered him and KO'd him. Good ghoul. Oh wow, this might be a stressful game. This might be a stressful game with how long Mr. Page is taking here. Three minutes into his time bank in four turns. Is wild. And no real easy ball defense. No, he really can't do this every turn. I, I, I know he's slow normally, right? He's normally he's talking to chat all the time. Um, oh wow, he blocked with that big and block black hole. Gets the, oh, it would have been a uh, KO, but he's got thick skull. I thought he was going to block with this one and then get this forward, but of course, Mr. Page, max blocks. And uh, then block the sidestepper who can sidestep into the front, probably. Seems a pretty good place. I guess he could put, he could go into there, right, to put guard on to save the other flesh golem. So he has actually got a choice. It just goes out. Oh yeah, that frees him to then hit the ball. Yeah, okay. Oh, and then he one in nines the dodge. And we have a completely exposed ball with a... Uh, I mean, an absolute disaster. I mean, an absolute disaster station now for Mr. Page. There we go. He's got a grab. Oh my god. I said that before the game started. For the benefit of YouTube, I am not an idiot. Somebody said, well, I want to see a Wraith Surf. And I'm like, actually, <laughs> he won't get a Wraith Surf because he'll know. Everybody knows that Blackhawks have grab. <laughs> They're the only player. Nobody else, you know, everyone else, grab will surprise you. But uh, everybody knows Blackhawks have grab. And then there you go, I didn't. What an idiot. Yeah, so he had full choice there, um, Mr. Page, with that push, and chose to put him in the directly being able to blitz the ball position. Which, who can say if that's good or bad? I'm going to say maybe it's bad.
Both down. Kaz. <laughs> okay. Oh, I didn't catch the ball. Never lucky. Never lucky. Wait, is this hovering now? Why is the ball hovering? At least you can see the detail. Look at that. Four. A very nice sandwich. Maybe it's hovering because it was the uh, Wraith that didn't catch it. Eh? Yeah, it is a ham sandwich, yeah. yeah. It's the halfling, halfling ball. Very good. And yeah, obviously puts in the ghoul left, the 2D here. And uh, now all of a sudden, Mr. Pages absolute lack of skills on the on the on the team looks pretty bad he's had three players removed he's lost the ball he's got some mighty blow he's got a sneaky kid who can't foul anyone he's got two stun players and uh yeah this is already pretty much over but things can happen things can happen it's not over yet don't say it's over. I don't know why, but when I was talking there, I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. I don't. <laughs> that's not. That's not a comment on the quality of the match. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty disgusting. Let me tell you. Just having to continue talking with this. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty horrible. I didn't do it on purpose, Dimmy. Oh, there's a Kaz. Mighty Blow having no effect. <laughs> second dodge, second one in nine fail. Classic. And uh, now... He, he'll want to pick it up with this ghoul, right? And I guess he'll probably want to chain these guys off. Um, but it's all relatively simple. Doesn't go for the chain, instead goes for the scatter. And <laughs> catches it. <laughs> oh. I mean, he's got a lot of guard around him. He can probably just rely on the guard. And, like, having lots more players. Nope, he makes the dodge. Poor old Mr. Page has made two dodges with dodge. Failed them both. And uh, Diomed instantly succeeds his dodge. So. Yeah. Honestly, if it wouldn't be a turnover, no hands would be incredible, right? Because you just move the wraith where the ball was and just get a free scatter and get a guard in. That would have actually been incredible. Yes, he probably should have wraith stabbed, like, first action, right? Oh, Le Double Skulls. And it rolls into a pow. Yeah. Oh, no, he stood up. He stood up. The wraith was a stand-up. The Wraith was a, was a stand-up. It's annoying, isn't it? The, the game doesn't tell you like who's active and stuff, so you think, this guy can block him, but actually he stood up ages ago, so yeah. So the path to the ball is powering this Wraith and then uh, dodging one, two, three, four, rush, rush. Very possible. Nope, oh, fails the foul appearance. <laughs> Rerolls the foul appearance, gets the pow, can grab him anywhere he wants. Maybe inside. One, 
two, three, four, rush, rush. I mean, it's it's got to be dodge, double rush, hasn't it? A dodgeless dodge. Oh, you can do it this way. That's still a double rush. I guess it's better pushing him back, right? Because then you keep somebody in the way of the ball as well. And that's blocks. And then, yeah, you get this four. And then you can hit from here and push him back as well. Last reroll goes in. And he gets the full pow. And the AV break. Mighty blow, no effect. Gets the ball back. Wow. <laughs> what a turn from Mr. Pitch. Knocked down loads of players. Like pretty much everything he hit, he knocked down. Including the ball. Really nice. You can be my wingman anytime. Bullshit. You can be mine. Oh, Space Cadet, what a legend. Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, Space Cadet viewers, to the uh, round two Group M match between Mr. Page <laughs> and seven Mighty Blow Orcs, Black Orcs, and Diamed and his uh, only one wolf Necro team. Yeah, two of the... Bigger names in Blood Bowl. No knockdown here for Diomed. Wow. M Mr. Page really got into trouble. Two, two dead go uh, goblins and a KO troll. Lost the ball and then uh, made rolled a bunch of dice and got it back. So... It's very exciting. Anything can happen now. Eight aside. Yep. Because one of those zombies there has regened. Things happened exactly, Dimmy. Fantastic stuff from the champ. just wrong. I mean, two of the people he got banged out were goblins, right? Which is really right. The the troll's the only one that's um, kind of a concern. The problem is all this guard makes it very hard. Like, you know, if you look over here, the guard makes it very hard for Mr. Page to do anything. He's also out of rerolls, is Mr. Page. So, yes, it does seem like he's going to have to potato. Yep. Yep. Still, there's a lot he can do this turn, isn't there? He can, he can punch things. He can uh, foul the wolf. Yes, but the problem with the chain of blocks on the right is he's got to block this one and then stay, right, to get this 2D. And then he gets this 2D, and if it's a power, he gets this 2D. But um, maybe... Oh, he's got this 2D as well, which frees him. Well, I mean, he could have, like, blocked everybody down doing it that way. Um... 
This could have been a blitz, right? This could have been a blitz and then like go one, two, three, four. That's what I was thinking. I would have thought of blitzing, follow and then run up there. Mighty Blow makes that nothing. Thick Skull. Stop. Thick Skull has triggered twice this drive, just quietly. I mean, I feel like you have to... I feel like what you have to do there is... Uh, is foul the wolf from here, right? So that you, you're tagging the ghoul and you're fouling the wolf. I guess he could try to. Oof! Oh, he's rolled all the dice. Rolling a rush without a reroll. I oh, dodges him all the way around. He hasn't actually blitzed, has he? And then he skulls. This guy can't touch him. This guy can't touch him. So it's just the trapped ghoul. And the trapped wolf. And this trapped ghoul. So this is a... <laughs> this is a problem. This is a problem for Diamond. Attempt to solve it, but it's still not easy, especially with just one reroll. Nah, Denbeek, you can do you can do better than that. But I am afraid of being accused of anything and you know, also just ill feeling, right? Like at the end of the day there was that there was that one turn in Chalice that, you know, I think he did it himself, but I could understand somebody who lost saying, oh, look, Jimmy said that and he did it. And you don't want somebody to feel like that, do you? Even if it's like, you know, like the person who believes you don't feel like that. And people in chat trolling and saying he was listening, I think is one thing, but Mr. Page has uh, used five minutes of time bank here in the first half. Yes, surveillance, that's what I'd be going with. And that looks exactly what Diamond's doing. He skulls though, and then gets the full power. not true space but yes I mean they could be done like that sometimes he actually needs to power this to stop the dodge doesn't he because otherwise it'd be one two three four five rush rush so he does it oh he's not he's not doing that he's gonna he's gonna dodge with a ghoul one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, rush. He's going to dodge rush. Yeah, this is better, isn't it? Now that he hasn't got the reroll, this is better. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. He's cast himself. That was definitely better. So, yeah. So, I think surveillance in my way was, was better if you don't use the reroll on the 1D. And then, in fact, no, this is probably better anyway, right? Just because you're only getting one hit on him anyway. Yeah, honestly, this is probably the best. So yeah, probably Diamond just found. I would have, I would have gone for the block and the block and then the run through, but um, the fact that you need the dodge without a pow 
means that Diomed was absolutely correct to do that dodge blitz, but not correct to Kaz himself. So it's funny, isn't it? All these, all these mighty blow players, <laughs> all these mighty blow players, and the one casualty <laughs> is from a failed rush. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! It was the it was he can't, it was the better decision, Soleno. It was definitely the better decision. Um, it wasn't the better dice. Yeah, there was the ghoul. The ghoul regen, though, we don't count. We don't count the ghoul at regen. He's got a lot of players. Wait, did he get the ghoul for the... You shouldn't get the ghoul... You shouldn't get the zombie for this guy, should you? This looks like he's got the zombie for this guy. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13... No, he's got 13. That just looked like 14. No, never mind. Errata, errata, disregard. Um, shut up, Dimmy. Shut up, Dimmy. <laughs> Don't make me ban you, Dimmy. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, all you can do is make the right decisions, right? And the dice will do what the dice do. Um, there are no dice, as Dionysian says. And um, <laughs> that would be incredible space. <laughs> but um, yeah, so all you can do is make the right plays, and that was the right play. Um, and ultimately, his 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 zombie his ghoul dying was better than his uh, wolf dying, probably. So you know. And yeah, I mean, that's the thing. The, thing the, the weird thing is that dropping the wolf gives you the extra ghoul, but you've still only got three guys who can handle the ball, essentially. So you're still just as brittle as, like, the Dave or build in terms of ball carrying. But he does have 13 players. I mean, you'd down to be, he'd be down to 10 players if, uh, if he had two wolves. So, you know, he's got that going for him. The troll comes back, huge. Looks like Diomed is not attempting the one turn. Which, you know, I think is the correct thing to do with no rerolls. And not even bother. Could I, uh, it could have a you know, time out. But didn't bother. Prefer to have the wrestle here to hit the troll. So sets up the uh, wolf blitz. Which also gets the Wrestle Ghoul onto the Troll again. He's already knocked him out once. Can he do it again? He just rolled all the dice, Nyanga. Oh my god, he has a if broken AV again. Oh, he stunned him this time. Incredible. Myth gets the power. <laughs> um, it, it, the the Dior did have the ball on the wolf, but it was just a four plus double rush, a four plus black orc dodge into a double rush blitz, uh, into a pow stun, made about four or five other powers that turn, and then picked up the ball with a goblin, got hit by four dice, and didn't get knocked over, ran away, um, got hit by, and then didn't get hit by two dice because Diomed failed the rush. So it was pretty, there was a lot of dice. Oh, foul, sent off. Failed the argue the call. Huge KO roll, comes back. And comes back. So. Only 10 players 
for Mr. Page. Honestly, the 12 players is, is the bad part of his team. Um, when I made a Black Oak team for this kind of tournament, I had 14 players. Um, having only 12 is very dodgy. He's only So he's down to 10. And Diamond still has 11, but Diamond's going to struggle to win this game now, isn't he, for sure? He's absolutely going to struggle to win this game. Like, he's got to make the active decision to push for the win here, or he just settles for the draw. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that's a decision he's got to make. With only 3 minutes 44, he went over halfway on the time bank. Mr. Page used loads of time bank, so... Yeah, Page didn't have the apple, yeah, he apple to KO'd big and early in the drive. Which probably proved to be critical, right? Because uh, there was, there was, everything was used going for the desperation score. And he's only got two players that can handle the ball and one's got wrestle. So... And this isn't easy for Diamond at all. If he goes for the win, he can lose. You know, because that's the way Blood Bowl works. Or he can just, you know, try to take the try to take the draw, but he might not even take the draw. Like, you know, it's not guaranteed, is it? Guard is, I mean, yeah, guard is great. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, guard is. Pretty much the best skill in the game. You know, Block's got a strong argument. But the thing is, you could just take Wrestle on everybody and not take Block. Whereas, there's no real alternative to guard. On the other hand, elves can do quite well without guard at all, can't they? So. <laughs> oh, Keith. <laughs> Is there a way, <laughs> asking for a friend, that you can ban two people from chat? But they don't know their band and they just see each other's messages <laughs> and no one else. <laughs> no one else does. <laughs> I'm not implying that that would be for Keith and Dimmy, <laughs> but you know, it could be. <laughs> oh wow, that gnome is pretty good. Glorious Badger as well. Wolf Ball playing to win. Yeah, yeah, the touchback. So yeah, the, the ball went out of bounds. Got to give it to anybody he wanted. Give it to the Wolf, who is movement eight. So it means if he can get it to here, you can bang it in next turn. The problem is he can't get it to here because he's got zombies. And he's got the fast players on the li line. So that's why he hasn't. that's why he's blocked this way, to get this faster player forward. So, he's going to try to put in the zombie here, and then this guy blitzes him, so that they go one, two, three, four, five, six with the wraith, right? That's what he's going to do. And that's why he hasn't moved the wolf yet, because he, he needs to know if this works first. No, he just moves first. But that means he doesn't get as far forward, which means the wolf won't be in scoring. Well, I mean, it's in scoring range. It won't be in there without rushes. I did prefer getting the wolf further forward 
to not have to make rushes next turn. With only three rerolls. Um, massive zombie hit. Who needs mighty blow? Honestly, if you missed a page here, you almost don't want to get in the way, right? Because if he scores, you can win 2 1. Yeah, maybe he'll just try and get down and stall it for a turn, yeah. But, you know, with Mr. Page, your probably priority is to not let him stall till turn three, right? Rather than shut down the score. Just, oh no, he blitzed, he blitzed the foul appearance. Which, you know, he probably had to. But God, it feels horrible blitzing. Foul appearance. Blitz fails now are just horrible. He, but you know he didn't have like he didn't have to right. He probably felt like he had to, but he didn't have to. As I say, he could have just moved back, moved back, and uh, try to stop the stall for the next turn. It is does not re-roll. Foul appearance fail. So the blitz is completely wasted. Has a 2D there, but risks a gobble to make it. These are actually tough gobbles as well, right? They've got a thick skull. He just got unlucky taking Kaz on them both. Um, they are slightly tougher goblins than usual. I think you've got to get him out. Yeah, I would have gone. I would have gone one front, but not bad. Not bad there from Mr. Page. And the question now is, will will Diamond go for the two turn or the three turn score? Yep, he could just double rush. He could just double rush, bang it in. I'm not sure he will, because he can get the ghoul up now, can't he? The ghoul can get quite far forward. He can block this. Block this, block that, run, run around. So I think he probably will... Yeah, I think he'll probably will try to score in three. This is looking like a sideline cage, which is outrageously dangerous, yeah. He did do that in Super League, didn't he? Um, okay, it's not a sideline cage. I guess he's making the rushes. I guess he's making the rushes. Flip me. Makes them both. Bangs it in in two, thanks to the, uh, thanks to the touchback. And now, Mr. Page can just win, right? Like, okay, he got into trouble the first drive, but he can easily just make a bunch of removals, right? A very spicy encounter now. 1-1. Oh, one, one. Yeah, Diamond's setting up a little bit more aggressively. Or is he really, you know, he's, he's doing this to get the get the sack, isn't he? He's, he doesn't have to, he could draw 1-1. One, one. It's not the end of the world if he draws versus Mr. Page. I guess he's thinking that Mr. Page is going to lose versus the both Dark Elves, though, right? 
and one Dark Elf has already beaten the other Dark Elf? No. One Dark Elf has already beaten Mr. Page. Um, Diomed has beaten the other Dark Elf. There's two, other, there's two other Dark Elves in this group. So I guess because, because Diomed has beaten the other Dark Elf, then he's probably pretty safe, actually, isn't he? I guess the other two elves could, like, both conspire to uh, go above him. If he, if he draws this and loses the last one, he's in, he's, he, he could have problems, couldn't he? So, um... Dells cannot lose to All World Alliance, Salakas. So it's actually impossible. Um, All World Alliance have no chance whatsoever. Supreme confidence. <laughs> yep. Solid D. Everybody loves a solid D. Um, yes, obviously things could happen. Um, that was just a little joke because, of course, it's my Dark Elves. Um, yeah, things can happen. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, All World Alliance are a Blood Bowl team and, uh, they can, you know, they can put you, he can play well, he can put me in bad spots, he can make me roll dice, and I can fail those dice when I have to make them. He can get lucky. Anything can happen. Um, well, that's not a very nice way of phrasing it, Maud Ready, but no, nobody took Renegades. One person took Chaos. Two people took All World Alliance. Um, one person took Black Orcs. Two people took Humans. Five people took Imperial Nobility. So there you go. Yes. <laughs> yes, the old lines do have rubbish dwarves. Which everybody's happy about. This solid D is monstrous, isn't it? Getting the wolf on the LOS. He's had some good kickoff results here, really, Diamond, with a touchback. I mean, that wasn't really a kickoff result, but do you know what I mean? Like, getting the touchback. And then getting this solid defense, completely coming up the side, and having his wolf free is uh, really bad for Mr. Page. Mr. Page can free this big one, and I guess he could give him an assist. So you know he could block. Oh, but he can grab. It doesn't matter. He can block. Block, 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 and then free this guy up. One, two, three, four. Rush, rush, with an assist, and he can deal with a wolf. Um, but then there's a ghoul come around the other side as well, so it's really tough. They get a skill for free, but it's loner. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, that, that dwarf team would be a trash team, but I think most people would be okay with that, right? There's no dwarf teams in this, because people hate dwarves. Diamond is only playing one wolf, yeah. It's not what I would have done. But it's working out well for him. This is this is very tough. A wolf on the loose and a ghoul the other side. Guard is in. That was a, that was a horrible kickoff result. Mr. Page has to start playing quicker now with 2 minutes left in his time bank. 5 and a half minutes used in the first half. Brawler gets him the pow. Uh, he gets a pow there. <laughs> Went troll blitz. He nearly did what I said, didn't he? He could have he could have blocked this guy and freed this one up. And then, which he has done, 
So this guy could have double rushed to hit the wolf. I think that was the play, honestly. I think the play was goblin in and double rush to blitz the wolf. But at least he's got at least he's got a big and back. The problem is by moving this big and back, it just invites the pressure from this side as well. So like you know, yes it lets you deal with things, but also it just means that it's all guaranteed in your face. So yeah, he's in he's in a lot of trouble here. I mean, I think Diamond is favoured to get the two the two one win at this moment in time, but you never know. Yeah, not a single foul, complete waste of sneaky kit. It's the fact he's only got twelve players, right? Like if he had fourteen, he could have just started indiscriminately fouling from turn one. But now he's down to 10 players, he can't foul. So, yeah. Yes, go far from the wolf. I, just going deep like this, yeah, yeah, I don't like it, I don't like it at all. Just going deep like this, now you're getting completely swamped in your backfield. It's not just being overpowered though, is it, Baron Bucky? It's being hit universally hated and being unfun, right? Is, is a problem for dwarves. Now that does fit their fluff perfectly. <laughs> so you can argue they don't need to be fixed, but um, no, they're certainly not overpowered dwarves. I mean, the the question for the Orcs is honestly just not, not getting turned over and losing is, is hard enough. Never mind trying to score themselves. But I think going for the win was definitely the right play for Diamed. Also, the Black Orcs could have just scored a throw teammate right with four rerolls, so it was really nice to just uh, bang it in and and then go for the win. Like, we're stalling out the 1-1 one, one draw might not even get you the 1-1 one, one draw. Gets a claw hit on a Black Orc. He does have time, doesn't he? Time is on his side, so he doesn't have to pressure super quickly here. Yes, the goal, but like, Mr. Page really has to kind of rescue this troll and have the opportunity to goblin throw I think but this is a nightmare for him isn't it just no guard versus four is uh, pretty tricky how oh, punter yeah, just swamping the other this is the problem right like because so he didn't do what I said, he invited the pressure, Mr. Page invited the pressure by splitting his team. Um, you know, Diamond could have come for this half, instead he just obliterated this half, which is the other thing to do, so, yep. Um, hello, Fymir. This is indeed Nath style, yes. Fell asleep on the couch and now you've missed it. Well, it's still it's still interesting. Things are happening. Things could happen. Diamonds used a lot of time bank. That's more surprising than Mr. Page to me. Mr. Page has always been, you know, taking quite a lot of time. I think he's probably streaming this himself. Like, still talking, yeah. Because he does spend a lot of time, like, reading chat and talking and stuff, doesn't he? So, he's, he's slower than most of us anyway. 
And now that he's not 100% focused on the game, it gets even harder. Oh my goodness, he uh, didn't stand next to the troll. I feel like the play was to uh, move the cage up to here, like blitz this zombie, and then move the cage up, and then you can stand up the uh, troll. I think that was the play. Pushes him. I mean. Okay. Uh, somebody's getting surfed. Oh. No, okay, somebody's not getting surfed. And I guess it doesn't matter if there's a 5 plus in the ball, does it? He's not going to take it, so... Yeah. Nice. Nice, nice solve for Mr. Page. If he was going to make this block, he definitely should have made this block before he stood up the troll. followed. Now there's all sorts of chains here. So, man, this end of turn bug is very annoying, isn't it? So we could definitely see a clever play from Diamed here. I expect we will, but you never know. No, maybe not. He's just focused on keeping control of the biggins. Black Orcs, even. Tell you what I really liked. I mean, he might he might still do something here, cool. But I really liked the wolf pushing the fleshy and then pushing the fleshy again. But um, actually, I guess doing it this way and then getting the wraith on is better because he's got block, isn't he? But my way, I would have got to smash a... Smash a... Uh, Black Orc, and then three dice on the ball. Was this way going to be two dice on the ball? Wait. Okay, he's not doing it at all. Now I'm bamboozled. <laughs> now I am bamboozled. Wow. Just trying to like win the incremental positional advantage, isn't he? Which makes sense. That's the classic, you know, crucifer route. But I feel like chaining the like after that initial block, chaining the wraith, like fill this square, like block this guy, put the zombie in there, um, move the wraith down to here, and then he could have blocked and chained the wraith into the ball there. And then put another player here. So you could have uh, you could have done that, and then two D the ball with block. I think it's definitely worth it. This looks like a uh, two and a two, isn't it? But this is just a one D if he wants to if he wants to hit the ball. Oh, there's a two D fail. Just titillating. <laughs> yes, Helamis, it's brilliant, isn't it? Thanks, Fruit the Cat, I think. So this is a 1D if he wants to blitz the ball. But no, in fact, he can't blitz the ball because it'd have to be 1D power. So he's going to blitz with the Wraith. And then move it in. And then 2D with the Wraith, chain that guy onto this zombie here. No? Wow, I thought he would have chained this one onto the zombie. That's what I would have done. But then, 
I would have done that, and then the zombie would have blitzed this guy, and he would have dodged, and he would have been away. This was better from Diamond. Man, Diamond might be better than me. I'm sad. <laughs> every time, every time I would have done something differently to Diamond, the Diamond way is better. <laughs> <laughs> oh, foul appearance. Let's get the pow. It's just going to potato. Or not. Could run around in the middle, right? The troll and the Black Orc can do something there. Looks like he's not, though. Looks like he's just determined to potato. Potato forwards. The potato hood <laughs> seems more than quite dangerous. It seems uh, rather suicidal. A Kaz. Thanks to Mighty Blow. Wouldn't have even been an AV break. Gets his trouble. See, I quite like I, the fact that this was going to work, right? I quite like then just moving the ball over here, kind of thing. He'd been pretty strong. Instead, we've gone for the potato play, which, you know, Diamond has to get him. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He has to push him back. He has to at least push him back this turn. Or Mr. Page will not lose. So this is just a 1D block. Yeah, definitely not going to 3 plus dodge. Can 1D him, right, and a 2 plus, and then he can 2D him. A 1D and a 2D is way better than a dodge. The question is, can he do better than a 1D there? And he can. No, he can't. The, the troll's active. I was going to say he can if he if he clears these two away. This zombie could have gone 3-4. If he powered, but he didn't power. Wait, oh, that makes it 2D anyway, because he's moved him. Oh, my God. I'm an idiot. So there you go. Three 2Ds. Clears him. Yeah, 3 plus dodging is impossible. So errata, errata, so just make all the 2Ds. They were blockless, but again, like you've got two rerolls, so these are way better, way, way, way better. Gets the instant full power. Pushes him down, catches it. Classic. I would have pushed him up. I would have pushed him up. But I mean, again, the fact that he caught the scatter makes it guarantee that that was the correct play. But that seems really weird to have pushed him down. I would have definitely pushed him up. Like, a million percent, I think, pushing him up is correct. Maybe maybe it was a misclick from Diamond. Maybe that was a misclick. Oh, yeah, because he, he's got a score, hasn't he? Yeah. There was a one in four chance. But you're not getting it this turn anyway. Nah, I still think it... It doesn't matter. You you clear these next turn when you go for the recovery, right? So, I I disagree. I think I think up was better. I still th I still think pushing him up was better. <laughs> Not correct this time. No, I I, I disagree this time. I absolutely disagree. He can he can actually chain him, right? He can uh double dodge and rush. And then he can pow. And then he can get him without uh dodging.
I think he was thinking, look at the time banks, 18 seconds and 17 seconds. Wow. No, it's definitely not Flute the Cat. Definitely not. See? Easy. Plus, less likely to use your team reroll, right, is the, is the more crucial thing. I guess that's less crucial now you've got multiple rerolls, but still. What can I say? I'm old school. Makes the dodge. Rerolling the hit. Oh, oh no! Diced! Absolute comedy mega. Well, there's some things to think about here, isn't there? I feel like you've got to blitz the wolf out. Because you can't afford to dodge. It's too likely to fail and lose. Yeah, because he pushed, he pushed him the wrong way! <laughs> <laughs> if you ask me can he do any other hits first not really everything's kind of stuck isn't it he's just got I guess the biggest one is like a 1D oh Ooh. match in it hell of a match and only 17 seconds of time bank no I don't think it was a misclick at all I think he's you know trying to free things and make a path for the uh, wolf Doesn't power him yet. Does get him down. Yeah, it's just a two plus. If people uh, made an elf dodge there, nobody would bat an eye, would they? Has to be there so that he can't be blitzed by this guy. Oh, he puts him up here to free the fleshy. And he ran out of time! He ran out of time! Oh my goodness! So the 4 plus wolf hit is on again because he ran out of time before he could get that fleshy in. Flip me! Flip me! Absolute scenes! This is where I'd have been completely baffled on a replay. Why, why didn't he move the fleshy? That's why he ran out of time. All the time bank used. This was not dangerous because he's got grab. Beautiful grab. Oh, he could just hit him. He could just hit him with a goblin into the into the uh, black orc. He can double rush, and then the sneaky git can just have him. <laughs> the sneaky git can just have his life. Let's go. Yes, Mister Page might run out of time this time. Yeah. 
Yes, get him in a in a in a kind of protected scoring position. Oh wow, Mr. Page might just run out of time here. Maybe not though. Gets the rushes in, gets the blitz in. Doesn't power him. He could re-roll this with the intent of re-rolling it if he gets in the second time. Pushes him forward, I think he should have pushed him back, honestly. Um no. Rick gets the pickup, but he's stuck. <laughs> he's completely stuck. He's got to rush again without a reroll. He doesn't rush again without the reroll. He absolutely had to rush again. <laughs> he absolutely a million percent had to rush again. Jesus. Yeah, I mean, now it's just stand up, stand, blitz, push him to there, power him, pick it up, score. He had to, I mean, it sucked to do the two plus, but like, he had to. If you're going to reroll the pickup, you have to, uh, you have to make the dodge there. And then, and then you're fully screened. It's incredible, right? And then you can, you can grab the wraith to there, so everything is behind you, like, you absolutely have to uh, make the rush there. Yeah, of course it was fear of the one, but you're much more likely than one in six to get smashed by this wolf and gets the wolf through as well. Oh, that was that was so painful for Mr. Page there. Had to make that rush. If you're gonna rear all the pickup, like you have to make the rush. As much as it sucks that you might one in six. He does get the push. Will he get the full power to follow it? I mean, he's obviously going to go here, right? No, he doesn't. Does he re-roll this? Has to. Only gets the push. Flip me. Flip me. I mean, he's just taken six dice, right? Like, okay, you might roll a one, but that's better odds than taking six dice. <laughs> yeah, that was really weird. To uh, I, I guess they wanted him stuck on the on the black orc. I guess. I don't know. Yeah, it does seem like the wrong square. Oh wow! Oh wow! Now we can just blitz him and uh, hand off to this goblin and score. <laughs> Flip me! One, two, three, four, five, six, rush, handoff. It's got no. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, it's got to be a rush, handoff. Into a way and scored. Flip me! I mean, he doesn't need to blitz, but he... Yeah, I, I, actually, yeah, blocking's better, right? No, no. No, blitzing's better, because then you can block him afterwards as well. Oh, but yeah, yeah, the, the both down, yeah, brawler, block gets to use brawler. Hmm. So, I mean, obviously you surf this guy first. And then I was thinking blitz... Okay, you get the power. I was thinking like the push, right? And then you could push him again. This way you can blitz the fleshy and maybe power him. One, two, three, four, five, six, which saves you the dodge. But then I guess the dodge is just the same as the hit. You've got to block this guy, right? You've got to block this guy. I don't know why I blocked this fella. I guess it's a scoring threat. Right? So it's definitely not a win for Diomed, because he's got one turn left and his wolf is stunned. So, this was a real pointless block. Now he can not stand firm, right? Oh, no, no, he has to stand firm, because he could go the other side. Yeah, so he gave him the chance to make a mistake by not standing firm. This is kind of pointless because 
you've got to avoid the one in nine and success isn't success so the dodge was just better oh my god brawler brawler saves the day yeah it was definitely better just to dodge here right because oh wow kills him yeah hitting the first is bad because it's better just to dodge because you've got a skill reroll anyway Does it? Does it? Does it? Oh my god! Oh my god, he's done it! <laughs> oh my god! He brought us into the surf as well! Not that anything matters at this point. Wait, what? What? Oh. Good way to discover a bug. Good way to discover a bug there. <laughs> um. Right. Wow. 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 Incredible. Incredible. No, grab grab just makes that you can't use sidestep. He used sidestep. No, he used sidestep. <laughs> it just literally the, the dice log says he used sidestep. Well there you go. What a win for Mr. Page. Anyway, um incredible incredible stuff from mr page um let's try and find the game here was it group n so oh the group hasn't been updated yet we can see the score here anyway it was a 2-1 victory for mr page Congrats to him. Absolutely incredible. And, uh, yep. So, and yes, to, I can I can show you the dice. I can show you the dice log on the last turn. I'll leave it in for the the thing. So, I mean, that this is on, so this is one of the problems with going for the win, right? It was, it was, um, it was a, it was a brave decision to go for the win because by going for the win you do open yourself up to just losing, right? And uh, it was a lot of dice from Mr. Page. It was gutsy play, but he kept himself in there, didn't he? And he had the chance and fair play. Fair play to Mr. Play getting the win out there. Incredible stuff. Um, We can look. We can action replay the the the. I mean, essentially a touchdown, right? Because he gets him out of range. There was even a dead, dead, dead that just didn't even register because the important player was the handoff, which he made, and that was it. And then look, he uses the sidestep skill. It says here, he uses grab because grab counters sidestep. And then, like, grab or you use grab to counter sidestep. <laughs> and then he used sidestep. So, there you go. You use grab to counter the sidestep. <laughs> right? You could just use grab. You run out of time. Ah. Well. Ah, so whatever it was, he ran out of time. Okay, okay. Well, that makes sense then. So who knows what happens? Who knows what happens? Answers on a postcard, YouTube people. Um, yes, commiserations, Diamond. It was. I think it was right to go for the win, uh, scoring in two. I think it was right. 
because the the key thing was the one turn, right? The key thing was the one turn. If if how bad would you feel if you stalled out the the second half to get the one one draw and then he just throws the one turn with four re rolls? So I feel like you know pushing for the win was definitely worth it, and you know I had loads of chances on defense as well. So uh, yep, yeah, very well played, but um, incredible stuff. From Mr. Page, there you go. Absolute incredible win for Mr. Page. Congrats to him. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.